Hi everybody, it is Sunday, July 18th, and I have an update, which I'm pretty excited about. So we have dates. Um, currently in my inbox is a legal contract that I have to review, and then um, we'll be, Jeff and I will be meeting with the lawyer virtually, um, like Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. And uh, as far as dates go, it looks like I'm going to start injections a week from yesterday. So um, it'll be Saturday, July 25th. And then around, these are, I mean, these are kind of give and take dates, like they may change a little bit, but uh, this is about when things are going to go go down. Uh, August 8th, I'll start something called S-Trace, which I think thickens the uterine lining. August 21st somewhere in there I'll get an ultrasound they'll measure the thickness of the uterine lining to make sure that everything's all good to see if I need more days of the estrace I guess and then as long as it's the lining is where they want it we're looking at sorry I'm just reading notes we're looking at um, August 27th or 28th ish for the transfer so it's just really um, it's pretty exciting to be at a spot where we have dates and I don't know it just like it makes it really real um, I'm really excited I'm really nervous I'm of course you know she keeps my friend keeps saying stop saying that but I'm nervous I'm just I'm anxious about whether or not it's gonna work on the phone the embryologist told us there's about only a 40% chance that it will take and that is due to all the combined factors, including the fact that I'm 38 and the fact that the age of the embryos, um, I'm saying that wrong. So I should back up for a second. I think I didn't say in my last video that the embryos that we are using are not, it's not my um, egg. They are, they belong to someone else. Um, and so, um, the mother who's who donated the egg it was 36 at the time of donation and so between the fact that the eggs are a little bit older and I'm a little bit older the doctor said that it's only a 40% chance so um, in the legal contract I have agreed that I would try up to three times to to get us a, a successful um, I mean to get to a baby I guess but it, I feel like it might kind of just depend on how, how everything works, like what, what if any side effects I have from the medications and all of that stuff. And so we'll just kind of see how it goes. Like, I don't want to really like fully commit to saying that I would absolutely do it three times. But if, you know, we try it twice and it's unsuccessful and it's just like, it's okay, I, I would probably try a third time. So, um... You know, when I first offered to be a surrogate for my friend, um, she asked me, and, and I don't think it was like a, like an ask, like, will you do this for me? But just, she just didn't know kind of where my boundaries were. Um, but she had asked, would I, she said, you know, would you consider using your own, donating your own egg? Because obviously if, if I just used my own egg, then she can just use her husband's sperm and then we do an IUI and it's just a much, much cheaper process. But I knew immediately, like the thought of using my own egg, I knew made it feel, would make it feel like the baby was mine. And I, I, I don't want to feel that way. And I know that, you know, if it's successful that during the pregnancy I will absolutely have a bond with the baby but I don't I don't know maybe I'm wrong I don't feel right now like I'll ever feel like it's mine like I feel like I will have this crazy love for the baby and I will feel like it's this deep connection obviously but I just I don't ever feel like I'll feel that it's mine and so I knew as soon as she asked the question it was like an immediate like in my gut, it was just like a no, like it was an absolute no. And 
you know, we've told some people that we were considering doing this and only one person had a kind of a more negative reaction. And she asked me, like, you're, how are you, you know, how are you going to be able to do it? Like, do, it's just, it's going to be too hard and you're going to feel like it's yours and, and all of this. And I was just like, I, it's going to be hard. Obviously it's going to be hard. And when it's time you know, if it all like works out and there's a delivery and then there's this baby and then I leave a hospital without a baby, it will feel very weird and I will probably feel very empty because it will be mourning the end of something. It will be mourning the end of like my relationship with this baby and my part in their process. But that's all that it is to me is I'm just a part in their story, like a big part, but just a part. And, um, you know, when she said that about like, you know, you're going to feel like it's yours and it's going to be too hard. I, I kind of went back in my mind to the fact of, of, of like getting the difference emotionally between how I would feel if it were my egg versus not. And that tells me that surrogacy with their egg is okay and surrogacy with mine would be a no-go. So, I don't know, I just wanted to share the the update on the dates. Um, it's just happening so fast, but I'm really excited about it. So, uh, when I pick up the meds next week, next weekend, I will maybe record the first, like, injection and just see what that's like. I don't, I don't know if, if I'll record it or not, but... Um, yeah, I I feel like I need to flesh out a little bit more sort of what happened to lead me and her and I to this decision, but I feel like I can't really do that without giving away information about her, and I know that she's just, she's not ready for that yet, and, and I don't really feel like I'm ready for it in terms of our personal, people in our personal lives, like, knowing yet either, so I think I'll just leave it for now, but um, that's our update, so I uh, will talk to everybody next week. Bye.